Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Scratch Lego Mindstorms EV3 tutorial with the light sensor. Okay, we are in Scratch right now. If you have not watched the last tutorial about the touch sensor with the motors, please do because it contains quite a lot of information about it and it will help us move on to today's project. So first of all, we got this brightness and the light sensor is basically like the color sensor in Scratch. It is this and this will detect the brightness from and it will get reported back as a value of 0 to 100 and 0 is the darkest and 100 is the brightest. So we're just going to do a simple test. We're just going to go when green flag clicked. Nooks. Say brightness for 2 seconds. And this will tell us the brightness of something. So I'm just going to point it at the floor. It says 27. Okay. Yeah, that's a, the that's a value. But what if I use something like black? It will give me something less. I'm going to have to hold it because it keeps moving a lot. 3. So that means it's very very dark and if we turn the light on like i have a light right there and then we point it up at the light it's giving me 59 76 yeah it's giving me very very high values so we can use this to our advantage to do some things so first of all simply we can go into nego ev3 we get this brightness but we can take away the say and you could use when brightness is less than and it can do all sorts of things but I'm going to use the operators, this is another way. So when brightness is less than a certain amount, we are going to get the robot to do something. So if brightness is less than 50, then let's get the robot to be a bit aggressive, we're going to get motor A with the hammer. Um, motor A for 0.5 seconds, turning clockwise, then turning anti-clockwise again. So th this will get the, um, the robot to hammer the ground once. And then if it is not less than 50, then we can just maybe get it to move a certain direction. So I'm just going to move motor B, get it to turn for 0.3 seconds, then turn back for 0.3 seconds. And let's see if this will work. So first of all, I'm going to test it with the bright light. So I'm turning on the light. It should be greater than 50. If it isn't, then that would be a problem. Yep, it is greater than 50. How about something black? Say this black Lego piece. Let's see. Yep, it's a very aggressive, it wants to hit me with the hammer. So, how about yellow? So, or grey maybe. So, let's, let's try actually yellow and grey. So, let's do yellow first. Yellow is here. Yeah, it's not really greater than 50. So, how about grey? Yeah, I think it's going to hammer. Yep, it is. So... A light is very, um, is very, very bright, and if you're doing this during the daytime, it will give higher light levels. If you're doing it during like a dark night, it will give night levels of like zero. And you can use this to your advantage to maybe create a robot that will attack someone in your room if the light level is less than something, or if the light level is greater than something. It can just play a dance or something like that. I don't know, but. Now we can use this to our advantage to get a robot to follow some lines with the light sensor. Okay, we've got the robot on the, my test pad and we're going to basically get it to follow a black circle as I'm shown. So as you can see, as you can see there is a curve and we're going to get this robot to do half the circle with scratch using the light sensor. So first of all, we're going to go when green flag clicked and when sprite clicked and when when sprite click we're going to do first it's simply going to stop all when we click it so we don't have any bothers if this goes wrong or if we want to stop the program instead of wasting time trying to get up there then that will be okay now we can go into when green flag clicked if brightness 
we are going to use. If brightness is less than 15, so let's go into brightness. And operators, you got less than, and we're going to do 25 today because it's a bit brighter, but 15 is a good value as well. 15 to 25, it doesn't really matter. Now we're going to go into when motor B. We're going to get motor B to turn clockwise and motor C to turn clockwise. And I'm going to go 0 0.3 seconds each of them. Okay. I don't know. I probably clicked on the script by accident. And then we are going to go when motor B will turn anti-clockwise. And I'm going to go 0 0.1 seconds on this. Because it does, if you do any more, it gets a bit hectic. And finally, put a forever loop. So it will keep going. And I'm going to fix the robot. And then I'm going to test this out. Okay, the robot is, robot is fixed in position. Let's go. Okay, so it is... It is following the line. And I'm going to stop it. I stopped it, okay, so it did follow the line. Um, it followed half the circle, and that was our goal accomplished. And this shows us that the light sensor can detect different values from uh, bright to dark, and we can use this to our advantage to follow different coloured lines. So that's actually going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more coding videos like this. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.